I have never been told to hurry and get something done. But I have been told, just do it right. If it takes longer to get it done right, you do it right. Each craftsperson has their own technique and the way they build furniture. So if you buy a sectional from Thayer Coggin or if you buy six dining chairs from Thayer Coggin, one skilled upholsterer will build that product for you. Our furniture is bench made. The industry has what they call an insider and an outsider. The insider being your most talented, experienced upholsterer who upholsters the part of the chair that you look at and that you sit at. And then you would have another individual who was maybe lesser experienced that would close it out. Here special at Thayer Coggin is the upholster builds the piece completely up from the inside, outsiding, the whole thing. He will lay that fabric on, pull it and staple it and, and massage the fabric. Once the final product is put in place, it's, it's wonderful. They thought that whatever you make, you make it the best that it can be made. He demanded that his product was built well. And it had to be just right before he went out the door. Thayer was actually making his initial product. Back in 1953, he had 14 employees manufacturing in a little small factory about three miles from here. All his family was involved in the furniture business. He was a very talented person. He could just be almost anything. He just understood how things worked and he had the desire to make that work. Milo Boffin was ahead of his time. He was truly a design icon. When Milo came into spine for Thayer and said, I put just as much attention into the back of the piece as I do the front of the piece because I would hope and expect my pieces to be landscaped, and then Thayer immediately said to him, I'm going to commit ourselves to building it in a bitch made format. He seemed to have a really good eye for design. So I think that's what was great when he met Milo Boffman that they were able to make something that was legendary. Well, the thing that Thera Coggin was always noted for was original and unique design, and also contemporary or what is now defined as a mid-century modern style category. I would hear stories of customers who didn't even buy Thera Coggin that said they would come to the showroom each market to say, I've got to see what they've done this time. So it would create such a buzz and such an aura. Thayer was an entrepreneurial icon. I'd heard about him all these years, you know, and then all of a sudden one day I'm working for him. I could go to him and I could talk to him about anything. He recognized me as one of the, the persons that had been here a long time. Been here for 34 years. This is my 35th year. For 40 years. 25 years. As time went by, I got to know him better. He got to know me better and uh, became where I really thought and loved the man. I'm used to seeing Thera walk around here and, and being around in the plant all the time and talking to you. And, and, uh, but, um, it was a shock when we found out, you know, we lost him. We still build frames the same way we've been building them for 60 years. High quality, handcrafted furniture that's designed by furniture designers. They bring the drawings and you're trying to figure out how to turn it into a marketable piece of furniture. And that's very exciting and very rewarding for me to do. We have a great group of craftspeople here. Couldn't do it without them, and they inspire me every day. Since Royals took over, she's done a great job. And she is fair and kind and considerate. And uh, it, it's amazing to see how people develop these traits as they grow up. Our parents spent so much time here, so we spent a lot of time in the furniture factory, too. They grew up from just little kids riding their tricycles around the factory, and they were getting orientated to the furniture business even then. And the whole plant, to me, is like family. This has actually been my home away from home. North Carolina is our home, and the people that work in our factory are our family. We have inherited this great dream from Thera and Milo, and we want to share that dream 
with generations to come.